there is a collector's breeding event right now and what's important about this is it is possible to get some additional maze coins and I have almost 6,000 maze coins so I am on track to get enough coins for the monster but I know some of you might be significantly lower than this and you'll be asking the question of how many gems do I need to spend in order to get enough maze coins to make sure I at least get the monster. So this video is going to answer that question for you. So I'm not a fan of these new maze costs at all. I wish they had kept the same maze cost. Have you got your 60 chest yet? Welcome to Bobby Gaming, the place where gamers grow. So looking at this event, for every successful breeding, you'll get 250 maze coins, which is unlikely to happen. However, if luck stabs you in the back, you'll still get 75 maze coins. The combinations are below. The best ones are for Moonming and Katsuko because those are mythic monsters. But really, you're doing this more for the maze coins rather than the monsters because the chances of you being successful in the breeding event are quite low and it's the normal 5 to 10%. And this event does go for the next two and a half days. So I've been pretty good on my collections, mostly because I've been using a lot of these tokens and it's just come off cooldown about 10 minutes ago. And I have almost 6,000 maze coins. So I am on track to get enough coins for the monster. But I know some of you might be significantly lower than this. I have a whole bunch of eggs that have just finished a couple of minutes ago so i'm going to collect these and start breeding and i'm going to put this thunder eagle as well so that i can save myself a couple of collections i'm going to put my breeding guardian back on it is going to cost gems but i do want some extra maze coins so that's why i'm putting it back on let's see what our final attempt for wingsuit gets us make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to enter giveaways row in monster with gems legendary wars titan dungeons and race monsters oh another wingsuit nice I'm not sure if I have the combo, so I have to check. Dracontium and Razul, I'm pretty sure I have. Rock Antium, I'm not sure about. Dark Soul, I do have. So I'll check for Rock Antium and Dark Soul first, because I do want a high level Katsuku if I can. I don't have Rock Antium. So Dracontium and Razul. Oh, I don't have Dracontium either. All right, so we'll check out one of the other combos instead. It doesn't matter too much, because I don't think I'm going to get the monsters anyway. Let's go Veda Magma and Nemestrianus. I don't think I have Veda Magma. Wow, I'm missing a lot of monsters. Okay, Barbados and Mercurius. There's Mercurius. Why not? have any of these. How about Demise and the Keeper? There's Demise. Wow, I have nothing. Huh. Well, I guess I'm not getting any extra maze coins, but luckily for me, I'm on top of my collection. In that case, I'm going to breed Dragonian Beast. So it's Fundenix and Tarzak. I need to level up some Tarzaks and I could do with another Fundenix. And I can put Jazzes on a bit later. So for those of you that do have breeding combos, here's what you need to know. Head over to the MLG guide. So props to AK for creating this guide. What he's telling us is you require an average of four collections per day for the first five days and then five collections per day for the final two days and MLG guide has a chart to tell you exactly how many maze coins you do need in order to get the monster. So this assumes that you get all of the coins from Monsterwood. Ideally, what I would recommend instead of doing it this way is to have five or even six collections per day as much as possible. And then on the last days, you can slack off if you need to. And the reason for that is because you can front load and get more coins to spend in the 30% time. The other thing that's been called out here is you also need to acquire 325 coins within the first five days from alternative sources. So that can be roulette preloading, which is something separate that I should do a video about. Basically, this is doing stuff before the maze starts, but it only works if there's a gap between mazes. So for example, you can breed additional Thunder Eagles and then put those on top and not hatch them until the maze starts. Breeding event, which is what we talked about, or doing extra collections. So I would highly recommend doing the extra collections instead to get your 325 coins, which is about one and a half extra collections. So looking at the maze, at the time of making this video, it's three days 11 hours and i've got all my 6,000. so that would be around the end of the second collection on day three so i've got 6,000 compared to 4,300. so i am ahead so what i'm aiming for is to have at least 7,625 at the start of the 30 percent that's your big goal to give you an idea of how much it takes to get maze coins i've got these charts that i did previously so it's going to depend on two things the first thing you need to work out is which version of the breeding event is there there seem to be two events one where you get a lot of epics and one where you get mostly rares so i'll do both versions because i'm not able to test it myself let's do five attempts of each so if you do five attempts and you're getting mostly epics it's going to get you about 458 maze coins and it's going to cost you about 156 gems. If the breeding event is the one with lots of rares, then it's going to get you about 460 coins and it's going to cost you 130 gems. So I'll increase these five at a time and you can see on screen what this is going to cost you in gems depending on how many maze coins you need. So 10 breeds is going to cost you between 200 and 300 gems but will get you about 900 coins. This all assumes you speed up everything. 15 will get you about 1,300, almost 1,400 coins but costs you about 400 to 500 gems. And if you're really slagging behind, 
let's see what it takes to do 25. So 25 will get you about 2,300 maze coins and cost you about 700 to 800 gems. So I'm not a fan of these new maze costs at all. To get Colonel Pip at 30% time, you need 9,684 maze coins, which is a big increase compared to previously. I wish they had kept the same maze cost. I do like the new format of the maze, but I really dislike the cost. Or if we go back to AK's chart, you need 7,600 plus another 1,700, which is just under 8,400 maze coins in total. Keep in mind, this assumes you get 2,400 from Monster Wood and not everyone's Monster Wood videos work. Hopefully that helps you in getting Colonel Pip. I think he is a good monster, but he's a bit of a pay to play monster. If I didn't have my mage tokens, this would have been quite tough for me to get as well without setting a lot of alarms. Which, thanks for the reminder, I'm going to set my alarm now. I think it's about three and a half hours to my next collection. There we go. So I'll get collect once that runs out. And I do want to end on a positive note, so I'm going to show you two things. Here's a bunch of chest openings that I did get from all of those bonus chests. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out one of these two videos over here. And if you think Wabi Gaming videos will help one of your friends grow, make sure to share with them as well. And I will see you next time.